Hey everyone, I'm Katie from Addicted to DIY and today I'm going to be giving you my one year review of my Saw Stop 3 horsepower professional table saw. So it's been just over a year since I purchased my table saw. Um, actually it was Memorial Weekend of last year when I got it assembled. And kind of like my husband, I love it more today than I did back then. Um, it has been a complete game changer for my shop and I use it just about every single day. Um, it has made just completely mass improvements on my productivity, on efficiency, um, and just the power alone in it and the safety measures makes it one of the most valuable tools in my shop. So to give you a rundown of the specs that I chose with my saw, I purchased a three horsepower professional cabinet saw with the 52 inch fence. I wanted to be able to have as much uh, space as possible when cutting down different sheet goods. Um, and I've definitely utilized almost all of it at different points in time. Um, so having that extra, uh, extra wide table has been really, really valuable to me. Um, some other things I purchased with it are an industrial base. Um, they do sell a professional base for this. The industrial base is just a bit more heavy duty. It jacks up and it will move the whole table saw around. Um, although with the sliding cross cut sled, it doesn't want, it kind of teeters a little, so it's almost a two person job when you do it, but you can move this saw wherever you want. Um, it comes with a nine foot cord, and I did get the sliding cross cut sled with it, and I'm gonna go over all of the details of all of the specs and everything like that with you, as well as the pros and cons of everything, because after a year, I've kind of learned some things that I really don't like about the saw, but honestly, none of it has made me change my mind about it. I still love it, and um, there's just a few little minor things that I would change, and maybe they'll make improvements to it over the years, who knows? I know that they have updated a few things over the years with the cross-cut sled, um, so maybe in the future there's a few other things that they'll up upgrade, improve. Um, we'll just have to see. As I mentioned, I purchased the 52 inch fence for this saw. They also offer a 30 and 36 inch fence for this model, but I had the space to move up to the larger size, so I did. The ruler on the fence has both standard and metric measurements, which go down to 1 32nd inch and 1 millimeter respectively. There's a four inch dust port on the back of the saw, which I actually really appreciate as my old table saw had the dust port underneath and it was a real pain to get to. I chose to go with the industrial mobile base as the larger fence and crosscut sled need all the help they can get to move around. The base has a hydraulic jack that allows me to move the saw around when needed. The crosscut sled does make it a bit of a challenge to move by myself, but I've been able to do it without too much issue. The saw stop comes with a brake cartridge already installed, but I did buy a backup just in case. Should you plan to use a dado stack, you need to also purchase the dado brake, which is easily interchangeable with the saw. Replacing the saw blade is just like any other table saw, however when you do, you need to recheck the gap between the brake and the blade. Even though you may be using the same size blade, there could be small discrepancies in size. The saw comes with a gap tool, which is great, though I don't love that there's some room for interpretation on this. It all depends on where you set the tool and I don't know exactly how much this truly matters, but it's just an annoyance to me. The tool also comes with a hex wrench, which you can use to adjust the gap when changing blades. When I first saw the sliding crosscut sled for the saw stop, I instantly fell in love with it and I knew that I had to have it when I purchased my saw. What I love about this sled is how smoothly it glides back and forth on the track. The fence can be slid side to side to fit your material, or move it out of the way, and the miter can be adjusted up to 60 degrees and it has the capacity to accept up to 48 inch stock. The sled locks into place in the neutral position when not in use, which is really handy. One thing I wish it did is also lock in the back position. When I'm cutting wider stock but not using the sled, it will catch on the sled and pull it forward, which ends up hitting me. 
It's not a deal breaker, but it's an annoyance. I'd love to see SawStop come out with a new version where the sled locked fully back to avoid this. Now for the best part of this sled and what makes it worth every single penny to me. The size and capacity of it allows me to break down full sheets of plywood entirely by myself. For me, you can't put a price on that kind of efficiency when I'm breaking down multiple sheets each week. One other reason I bought this saw, the ability to know that I'm able to teach my kids how to properly use this table saw without worry of a potentially catastrophic, life-changing accident. There's no feature that will ever replace common sense and proper technique, but knowing that the safety measures are there make me feel far more comfortable with letting them learn to use it. So overall, with going over the pros and cons of the saw, honestly, there's not that much to not like about it. There's a few design flaws that I've found over the course of the past year, but honestly, I still just love it even more every day. Um, it has been a huge, huge upgrade to my shop. Um, I would buy it over and over again if I could, and I highly recommend it. So if you've been on the fence about purchasing one, or if you've just been waiting for a new review or a different perspective, I hope that you found this helpful today. Um, also, if you'd like to see some of the other projects that I have built while using this saw, check out some other videos on my YouTube channel. I'd also love it if you would subscribe, and I've put up a couple of other videos that I think you might enjoy. Thanks so much for watching.